them or it's orchestrated by them directly. So wars, no matter what happening, sanctions as well should be the condemned because they hurt regular everyday uh, people. So yeah, that's all about it. Just gonna see. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, yeah. Do you have any questions? Anyone? Yeah, cool. If anybody else does. I just want to say real quick um, that the group in Ukraine is gathering funds to defend their own community. Um, so if anyone's interested in donations or even just sharing the page, please come talk to me and I can give you this information. Um, it's really tough for them right now. They actually have to reroute all their money through Poland because uh, the Ukrainian state and Russian state are blocking any donations coming in to any anarchist groups. So please, if you um, want to donate any money or just share the page, please come talk to me and I can give you that information. Awesome. You want to do the mic? Oh yeah, but we got to sanitize it first. Yeah, yeah, please do the mic. Right on, brother. All Sorry. helps. <laughs> I'm just not enough. And I have extras I can pass on too because more people want it again. We're still making it. All right. Um, yeah. I see it. Like I was just rolling on by and I seen the, the anarchist signs and I don't really consider myself an anarchist. I don't really consider myself I really anything just a regular human being. But. Uh, uh, not from Victoria, I'm from Northern Ontario. We moved here three years ago. And we've been speaking right now, past whatever so on, about the issues out in the, the Western, Western like Europe or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the issues that we have are currently right now are here in Victoria. We have bad bad issues going on it's great. We, for the homeless for everyone we have people that are in all these buildings and they're literally concentration camps it's great. and i i'm homeless myself i may not look it i take care of myself but you know um i go to these places and i i do it because unfortunately i, I am an addict myself and I am but i'm also trying to help the people that are there because I've seen the corruption going on. You can see it in all these little businesses or these massive corporations now actually that were supposedly non-profit and I've just seen it grow and grow and grow and I understood that I needed to do something and so now I want to do create a for your profit and I have to by doing so, you have to look at everybody as an individual and learn about them, right? So everybody has a, everybody has a hobby. Everyone's good at something. Like we all have a trait. And I look in this city, and there's no, there's no economy. Like you look around, they say it's tourism. There's there's no one really here. There's no mining, there's no nothing. I come from a mining town. The economy runs out of an anthropology. And anthropology is disgusting, unfortunately. It's sick. Studying humans? No, my fan. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't have fun just uh, picking on people and picking them apart and picking them. Yesterday I got barred from the, the Johnson building for standing up for someone, for a group of people, because they were being belittled, because they are tenants of a building they pay rent at with a staff that can tell them to do whatever they want. Also, a lady three days ago got kicked out, 72 years old, put on the streets within a day. The bailiff was there. I tried to say something. Same. No. 
it's it, it's it's disgusting. Yeah, it is. I'm not allowed at any of the PHS buildings or whatever, because they know I know what the fuck is going on, and it's sick. And honestly, I really wanted this to happen. Like I've fucking been dreaming about a huge rally going on, and I, it, ha it has to get louder, and right people on. have to know exactly what's happening. Right. There's too much. It's it's it's. Yeah, it's messed up. It's it's honestly unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's, it's disgusting. They put it over our eyes. Like it, when I first moved here, I thought I was fucking going insane because I'm being followed and fucking exactly. everywhere I'm going, I'm yeah. fucking what the fuck, you know? Yeah, that shit doesn't happen where I'm from. I get to live my life and be a normal human being in Ontario, Sudbury, Ontario. You know, I go to work, I go home, hang with my girlfriend. I thought I was going to come here and be fucking clean and get clean. When you Google fucking Victoria in Ontario, you don't get this. No. Yeah. This is pure darkness, man, which is not right. Honestly, I, people, I, like, I have a shaved head, whatever. Me too. People think I'm not fucking bad. racist. No, man. I love everybody equally, and all I want to do is spread peace. But they don't understand that. They think I, you know, because I have to do what I have to do to survive every day because I have a bad habit but and I'm bad habit I want to stop so it's just we have to raise awareness and you everyone has to be aware and uh, just look into <clears throat> if you guys don't know there's PHS Malatest and UVic the three biggest bigots in this fucking town. It's disgusting. These students that don't know nothing from UVic of what's going on, not, don't know nothing, nothing, but they don't know what's going on at these buildings. They think they're going there to do a good thing, right? To be a staff member at a homeless shelter. It's not a homeless shelter no more, it's a fucking apartment building, you know? These people pay rent. They should be able to do what they want. They, they're not allowed to have guests over. Some, some buildings they are, some buildings they are. You know, that's not right. <clears throat> and then if that staff member has a heart and cares about someone, they lose their job. They get fired. It's fucking, it's sad. Because they're fucking terrible. It, and I can see, that I recognize <laughs> I'm sorry for pointing hands out, but your badges are out there. I, you guys don't know. Eh? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, because no one, no one even knows what malatest and, and about them. They just uh, they fucking keep their eyes shut. But it's actually a social, the social surveying. Uh, research, yeah, research, social survey research. So right now, you can go on their website and it says they're doing a psychoactive, psychoactive substance abuse program research study. So that's basically anybody that's on side or that gets high, like myself at times, they fuck with you and they push you into tried suicide and it's disgusting it's a whole epstein thing oh, oh, a whole big epstein thing in reality i see it i i and now i get to speak about it and now they know i know and it, it, it's it i'm actually happy i get to speak freely today you know my name is Brandon Kyle of Valley. I don't care if you fucking know, you know? Right on, Bernie. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to jump in. Don't go, down, don't yeah. go away, no, though. No, I'm but, not leaving. No, yeah, I'm fine. I, I just want to jump I in to help. You're good shit. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to say thank you so much for coming up. And you might know that the Super Intense City Six Society they formed. Do you yeah. remember when they formed, when they were over at the courthouse, Tent City? I wasn't here yet. I moved to this uh, Tent City that was okay. right there. Well, so, so since 
about a year now, it's gotten this bad all across Canada. They were, if people might know the photos and the video from people getting beaten down in Hamilton, people getting beaten down in Toronto. They were trying to help unhoused people, so they dispersed yeah. all the ten cities. And here they chased everyone around, thus yeah. the paranoia, the you know, the yeah. surveillance. Yeah. You know. But there's good people there who helped organize against Portland Hotel Society. Exactly. And and I just want to jump in there. There are some like the student projects that are happening right now, there's a lot of concern about them. Because way back when academics help sick society they help us all the time there's a lot of awesome academics that help uh, to give us as drug user people yeah. uh, like the drug user union they support that they support safe supply uh, they don't they don't want this thing that you're talking about that a lot of us have concerns about so this is really good that yeah. you're speaking up and I want I, I, I want you to keep going I just want to say thank you yeah, no, 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 I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Um, <laughs> someone had to do something eventually. I can't, I'm not, I'm, I don't care if I get fucking assassinated right now, honestly. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I got, I got <laughs> barred from the PHS as well. So yeah, we're in well, the same group. If, if you open your mouth and you, and you have someone's back, I got kicked out of Paul, Paul, uh, Tally Hole because a staff member refused to wear gloves when he was serving a, a, a tenant's meal. And I told him that's against food code. If you go to a restaurant, especially during COVID, you're wearing a mask and you're wearing gloves. And he just went irate and got me barred. Because he said so. Because I'm no one. I, I don't have a name. I don't have a home. I don't have this. I don't have that. Yeah, I used to have fucking everything. And I don't want anything. I don't want nothing. I got my skateboard, I got whatever, man. The whole fucking world's my home, you know? Like, I just... Awesome. Victoria is a... There's a lot of hidden stuff, and it's... 